Let me just update you on news from Ukraine that we've had breaking in the last few minutes. And the president uh, says that a Russian missile strike has killed more than 41 people in Poltava, a city in the east of Ukraine. President Zelensky said that more than 180 people were wounded. Speaking in the last few minutes, he said it was a very difficult day. With me is BBC Monitoring's Russia and Ukraine specialist Vitaly Shevchenko. Vitaly, just tell us what we know and tell us about this part of Ukraine too. The um, institution that the Ukrainian president mentioned, he said it was a, an educational facility and a neighbouring hospital that got hit. However, reports circulating online, they suggest that it was a military uh, signals training centre, i.e. where Ukrainian military uh, trained uh, communicate battlefield communications. Um, the Ukraine president says that at least 41 killed, there may be uh, more. Um, and um, according to him, Russia used two ballistic missiles. The Ukrainian defence ministry also issued a statement saying that it's an awful day in Poltava and uh, the, the reason why there are so many casualties was because there um, was not enough uh, warning, uh, the, the time period between um, when the sirens sounded and when the missiles hit these buildings, they were too, uh, it was too short. Um, according to the Ukrainian military, 25 people were saved. Out of them, 11 were extracted from the rubble. At least one building uh, collapsed as a result of uh, the missile strike. The uh, defence ministry in Kiev um, is, is saying that everyone should stay calm and trust only official information. Now, this is important because there is also speculation online that at the moment um, of, the air, of the airstrike, there was a parade taking place. Uh, at, at, at this training uh, centre, but that's uh, not confirmed. Now, Poltava is a city in central eastern Ukraine that's not exactly frontline. Uh, it's so far been uh, not as affected by uh, Russian attacks as, say, um, uh, Dnipro, Zaporizhia or, or Sumy, and um, clearly uh, that, that's changed today in a very tragic way. And can you just give us any sense of, of what this part of Ukraine is like, Poltava? Have we seen this part of the country being attacked uh, before? Uh, the, well, uh, it's difficult to find parts of Ukraine that have not been attacked. But Poltava's been relatively calm. I'll, I'll, I'll say that very carefully. Um, but um, obviously it hosts important uh, military um, uh, facilities such as training centers for the military and uh, of course Russia would be really keen to target those. There are reports that Russia had used uh, reconnaissance drones before uh, this missile strike happened. So uh, the Ukrainian president and the Ukrainian mili uh, military are, are saying that they've launched investigations into why this missile strike uh, had not been prevented. Vitaly, thank you very much indeed for that update uh, with that uh, strike that's killed more than 41 people.